Mario Kart Wii is one of the most popular Mario Kart games in the entire series, so it was no surprise that there was tons of merchandise made for it, including a plush set. And while this was actually the first Mario Kart game since the original to actually get a plush set for it, so yeah, it's actually pretty cool that they did get a plush set for it, as well, no Mario Kart game since the original ever got one. So yeah, with that said, welcome to a look at the Mario Kart Wii Band Presto plush set. Starting off with the first plush in set, we have the mushroom. Now, for the face of the mushroom, it's really simplistic as well, but it's only two eyes, and while they're nicely embroidered on, but that's no surprise as well, the face barely has any detail, so they couldn't really get anything wrong on it. And while for the white parts on top of the mushroom, it actually has some embroidery on the outsides of them, just to give it a bit more detail. And while the mushroom's head is also just really nicely stuffed, to give it a nice shape, and while it looks pretty accurate. And well, on top of all of these plushes, they come with a string on them, and I'm guessing the reason they're there is just to display them easier. But yeah, that's all there really is to say about this plush as well, but it's just a really simplistic plush, but they definitely did a great job with it. And well, if you want this plush, you can look on websites like eBay and Yahoo Japan, but it will be pretty hard to find as well, there's currently no listings of it on eBay. Moving on to the next plush, we have the Banana Peel. Now, for the face on the banana peel, the eyes and mouth are nicely embroidered on and they look really accurate. And well, a pretty cool detail in my opinion on this banana peel is, well, on the top of the stem, you could actually start seeing it turn into a green color as well, but face from a yellow into a green color, which is just a really nice subtle detail. As well, it's kind of just a really small detail that's kind of hard to notice, but it is a pretty cool one as well, they decided to add it there. And well, for the top of the stem, it's just made out of a normal brown material, and it seems to be nicely stuffed just to make it keep its shape. And well, for the rest of the plush, it's also really nicely stuffed and has the accurate looking shape to it, just to give it a bit more details, just to make it look more like a banana peel. But yeah, just like the mushroom, there's really no details that they got wrong about this plush, and they did a great job with it. And well, once again, you can look on eBay or Yahoo Japan, but it'll definitely be really hard to find. Next up, we have the green shell. Now, for the actual shell part on this plush, they did a great job with it, as well, basically every single detail on the shell looks completely accurate. As well, the black lines on the top of the shell make it look really good, and well, in my opinion, they just did a great job with it, and I don't really know what the material they made it out of is, as well, but it just seems to be a normal plush material. I think it would have just looked slightly better if they actually embroidered it on, but besides that, there's really nothing bad about it. And while the white outline around the shell is really nicely stuffed so it keeps its shape, and same thing with the rest of the shell. And while for the bottom of the shell, it once again just looks extremely accurate looking, and there's also some nice lines on the bottom of it just to give it a bit more detail. And while once again, it's made out of the exact same material as the top of the shell, and I think it would have just looked slightly better if they embroidered it on, but besides that, I don't really have any complaints about this plush. I'm also going to include the red shell in this section as well, there's literally nothing to say about the red shell as well, but it's literally the exact same as the green shell, but instead of having a green color on the shell, it has a red color. But besides that, both of these plushes are identical. But yeah, if you want the green shell or the red shell, you can both find them on eBay and Macari, and there's currently one of each for sale on eBay. Moving on, we have the blue shell. Now, for the bottom of the blue shell, it's literally the exact same as the red shell and the green shell, so there's nothing to really talk about there. And well, for the top of the shell, it obviously uses a blue color, and also uses the exact same pattern for the shell, but they just added spikes on the top of it, which actually seem to be really well stuffed, so unless if you purposely unstuff the spikes, they will look really good and just stay really nicely stuffed from what I can tell. And while the wings on this plush also just look really good as well, they have some embroidery in the middle of them just to give it a bit more detail and also a bit more definition. It also seems that they really nicely stitched on the wings to make them in a certain position to make it seem like the blue shell is actually flying, so yeah, they definitely did a good job with that. But yeah, this is definitely one of the best plushes in the entire set, and Wub is also one of the only blue shell plushes to actually have wings on it, as well basically every single other blue shell plush doesn't include them. So if you want a blue shell plush with wings on it, this is basically your only option, which makes it actually pretty hard to find, as well there's currently no listings on eBay, but if you do want this plush, I would recommend looking there, and also on Yahoo Japan. Next up we have the bob -omb. Now, for the main part of the plush, is really nicely stuffed, and the eyes also have some embroidery around them, just to give it a bit more detail. And while the legs are probably the worst part about this entire plush, is that they're just really skinny and basically have no stuffing in them. And well really, the only part of the legs that do have stuffing in them are the feet, but the legs just look really skinny. I think they should have made them just a bit thicker so they looked a bit better. 
But besides that, basically every single other part of the plush is just great, and while the fuse on this plush looks really accurate, and it seems to be really nicely made. As well, unlike other plushes, it doesn't actually use a felt material like most plushes, so it actually can't get damaged that easily. So yeah, once again, just like basically every single other plush in this set, it's just a really good plush, and there's currently one for sale on eBay for around $70. Next up, we have the blooper. Now, for the eyes of the blooper plush, they're really nicely embroidered on, and they seem to be extremely accurate. And while the black outline around the eyes also has embroidery around it, just to give it a bit more detail, which I actually really like, as though I think it just makes the plush a bit better. And while the, for the rest of the blooper plush, they got the plush's shape just really accurate, and also really nicely stuffed it, so it can't really get understuffed and have the detail shapes get messed up. And while it was actually really hard to find this plush, as well, usually when you look for it, you just find tons of other blooper plushes that aren't part of the set, so yeah, it actually seems to be really hard to find this one, especially because so many blooper plushes look alike. But yeah, if you do want this plush, you can look on eBay or Yahoo Japan, but be careful as well, there's some that look really similar to this one, so make sure it's made by Banpresto. Next up we have the POW block. Now for the letters on this plush, they're really nicely embroidered on and look basically perfectly accurate to the game. But yeah, the rest of the plush is just really simple as well, but just uses a dark blue color in the center of it with the rest of the block being a light blue color. But yeah, basically every single part of this plush just look extremely accurate to the game and the entire plush is just really nicely stuffed so it's able to keep its shape. And it was also one of the only POW block plushes that were ever made, so it's definitely a really unique one. If you want it, you can look on eBay or Yahoo Japan, and this is actually one of the more expensive ones in the set. Next up, we have the Bullet Bill. Now, for the eyes on this plush, they did a great job with them, as well. The embroidery on it just looks really good, and they did a great job with it, as well, but it just holds up really nicely. And well, for the arms on this plush, they look really good and actually have some extra embroidery on the hands just to make it look more detailed and adds fingers to it. And well, they also stuff them really nicely so they're able to keep its shape and also stay in the same place being the center of the bullet bill as well. Sometimes some bullet bill plushes could get understuffed on the arms and make them look weird. But yeah, the shape of the bullet bill just looks really accurate and they basically did a great job with the entire plush. And well, there's a few on eBay right now, and you could also look on Yahoo Japan for them. Next up, we have the star. Now, for the stars, once again, just a really simplistic plush, as well, but just two eyes and a star shape. As well, the two eyes are just really nicely embroidered on and look basically completely accurate, and the material used on the star is actually a really shiny material, so it looks really cool. And I'm actually glad that they use this material, as well, but it just gives it a bit more of a shine and makes it stand out a bit more from the rest of the set. But yeah, they made all the corners of the star really nicely stuffed, especially the bottom one, so when it stands up, they don't really get under stuff like other star plushes. And well, just like the blooper plush, this one's actually pretty hard to get, as well, when you look for this plush, you usually just find tons of other star plushes, but this one actually stands out a bit more due to it being made of the shiny material. Next up, we have the thundercloud. Now, the eyes on the thundercloud look really good, as well, they're just really nicely embroidered on, they're one of the more simple details on the plush, but they just look really good. The actual lightning bolt on the thundercloud looks really good, as well, once again, it sticks out from the rest of the plush, because it's made out of the same shiny material as the star, and also it just shaped really nicely. And while they actually did a great job with the cloud shape on this plush, as well, they made multiple different lumps on this plush, just to give it a bit more detail, and it's really nicely stuffed, so it can't really lose its shape. And while I like what they did with the mouth as well, they stuffed a certain part of the cloud just really well so it makes it look like a mouth so that's just one detail on this plush that I just really like. And they did that around the plush just to give it a bit more definition and detail and this is definitely one of the most detailed plushes in the entire set mainly just because of that. And while this is also the most expensive plush in the entire set usually selling for upwards of $300. And while that's in mint condition, in worst condition, it usually sells for around $250. So yeah, this is just an extremely expensive plush, and the only reason why I could think of that is that's the only Thundercloud the plush that was ever made. As well, since the Thundercloud was basically exclusive to this game, no other plush sets actually contain this plush, so it's the only one that you could get. So that's most likely the reason why they're so expensive, and if you want it, you can look on eBay or Yahoo Japan. 
Moving on to the next plush in the set, we have the Golden Mushroom. Now, this plush uses the exact same pattern for the normal mushroom, but it just adds a crown on the top of the head. And while they did actually do a lot of changes to this plush, so once again, it's made out of this really shiny and fuzzy material just like the star, and it makes it stand out more than any other plush in the entire set. And well, once again, they did a great job with the spots on the mushroom's head as well. They have really nice embroidery around it, and they also just look amazing because they're made out of this really fuzzy, shiny material. And well, the eyes are also just really nicely embroidered on, so they hold up really well, and the plush is also just really nicely stuffed, so it once again holds up well. And well, the crown of this plush is probably the worst part about the entire plush as well, but could get damaged and bent pretty easily, but once again, it's made out of a pretty cool looking material, and it looks really nice. And once again, just like the thundercloud, is also extremely expensive, mainly just because there's only two golden mushroom plushes that were ever made, both for Mario Kart Wii plush jets, so yeah, that's probably why it was extremely rare. So that's probably why it's extremely expensive, mainly just because it's the best of the two golden mushroom plushes, and it's also one of the only golden mushroom plushes that was ever made. But yeah, if you want this plush, you can look on eBay and Yahoo Japan, but it will be quite expensive. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then like and subscribe and comment down below which plushness is your favorite. And yeah, have a great day.